All right, y'all, you want to know what's funny? Is when you sit down to start a video and then you look for your phone in case you get a call for work and then you look up at the tripod and there's your phone. You're using it to take the video. So yeah, I'm pretty darn smart sometimes when it comes to stuff like that. But I'll say I found it right away. All I had to do was look up. But anyway, I uh, hope everybody's doing okay. I want to apologize. I haven't been putting out as many videos as I like to. Work has just been slammed for the last couple of months. I picked up a bunch of new accounts. And let me tell you what, there's nothing worse than picking up new sales. I, I work, I'm a, an account manager by trade in contract manufacturing. And uh, nothing is worse than picking up a lot of new accounts and not knowing information about them. Uh, normally, I would be able to resort to what we call the computer files, the ISO files for those, for those accounts, to be able to look up past quotes, cost calculations, things like that. But in this case, they have just been essentially mismanaged up to this point. So that's my little rant about that. And uh, I got the new truck. I'm sure y'all saw the videos on that. So I've been doing some things with the truck, but I don't want to overload my channel with truck videos. Although I do have a couple of additional truck videos shot that I'll be rolling out here in the next few weeks or so or something like that. But today I wanted to talk about a topic that has been on my mind a little bit. Um, truck guns, essentially, which I, I bet you never could have guessed that by the title. But yeah, you know, um, I'm, I'm one of these types of guys that I like to carry a lot of gear in whatever vehicle I have. When I had my Jeep, or mostly I've had trucks, but I've had the occasional oddball vehicle sometimes. Uh, some preparedness gear, gear um, water, food that doesn't go bad in the heat, backpack, just a bunch of stuff. And that's going to be a whole nother video that I plan on doing here pretty soon. Is showing you guys what I carry in my truck to be prepared just in case there's an emergency. But today's subject is a truck gun. Now, this is something I'd like to hear some feedback from y'all on. I, you know, from my experience over the years, there's so many people have different opinions on what makes a truck gun. Now, I'll tell you my personal feelings on it is I think a truck gun, the, the, the biggest thing is it should be something that you're not afraid of losing, okay? Because vehicles get broken into, guns get stolen out of vehicles every day. You know, I don't, I, 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 that's an interesting fact. I'm wondering how many vehicles are broken into and guns stolen out of them every day. I'm going to try to Google that, and if I can find a number, I'm going to drop it in right here. But if I can't find anything, oh well. But, you know, th I think that's the biggest thing is a truck gun should be something you don't mind losing. But at the same time, it has to be something that's reliable and something that you can count on if you need to. Now, what is the purpose of a truck gun? Well, this is another thing where I want to see what y'all's opinion are. But, uh, you know, often people think of a truck gun as self-defense type purpose. To me, not necessarily. Uh, in my opinion, a truck gun is something that you have there just in case you need a gun. Let's say if you end up having to to walk home or if there's, and I know this is, this is from the prepper mindset, let's say if there's an EMP or something like that or whatever and you're stranded and you've got to rely upon that gun to put food in your belly to get you someplace safe, yeah, and possibly for self-defense purposes. So, you know, there's that's a whole nother definition of a uh, truck gun is what are you gonna use it for? Now, y'all know me, you know that I like 22s. So, to be honest with you, my truck guns are always 22s. Now, a lot of people snivel at that. <laughs> Yeah, really, a 22 for self-defense purposes? Well, that's not the primary purpose of a truck gun, in my opinion. <clears throat> Which y'all may have a different opinion. If you do, hey, I'm all ears. You know, I'm I'm just telling you this is this is what my thoughts are. But the 22 has a lot of advantages. The single biggest advantage is this. Here's a box of 50 rounds of 40 Smith and Wesson. Nine millimeter, obviously, is a little bit smaller, but basically the same size. Here's a box of 50 rounds of 380 full metal jackets. Now, this box is a little bit smaller because this particular brand, I think, yeah, they use a small plastic divider versus the full-blown tray. 
Here's a box of 50 rounds of 22 long rifle. Can you see the comparison? If you're having to walk somewhere, or let's say if you're on your own in a huge catastrophe or something like that, you can carry a heck of a lot more 22 long rifle by weight than you can carry 40s or 380s or 357s or whatever. Now, with that said, I'll be the first to tell you, if I'm ever in a self-defense situation, I'm sure as heck going to wish I had a 40 or a 357 or something like that versus a 22. But, uh, you know, the odds are you're trying to get away. You're trying to stop a threat. You're trying to get away. So that's another reason. And I know some of my friends out there, sorry, Big Bo's coming in here to say hi. Don't bump the tripod, Baby Bo. Uh, I know that's another reason some of y'all like to carry 22s as well for every day, every day carry. But anyway, that's the biggest, that's the single biggest thing is that 22, to me, if you're having to carry it in your backpack, you can carry a lot more 22 than you can some of the other rounds. Now, I know there's a lot of disadvantage to 22. Obviously, the defensive purposes is minimal. Um, they're not as reliable. Um... But advantages, pros to it, they're light, readily available. You can find 22 long rifle. Well, in normal times, you can find 22 long rifle ammunition uh, pretty easily. So, but anyway, let me show you real quick uh, my my current truck gun setup. I actually have two of them. I have a long gun and I have a handgun. So let me show you this. Too. Bo, did you try to knock over Daddy's tripod? His daddy, he didn't knock over a tripod, did he? He's busy looking out the window. All right, y'all, so this is the handgun that I carry for a truck gun. And let me go ahead and mention something else, too, before I get into this. And that's the fact that I, like most, like a lot of people, I imagine probably quite a few of my subs, do carry uh, a concealed weapon every day. So what I'm talking about with these truck guns are in addition to that. These are ones that will stay in the truck all the time. But this is the first one. This is uh, a 22 long rifle pistol, but of course it'll also shoot shorts and longs, you know, if you can still find 22 longs. But this is an old Rossi um, M511, I think. Yeah, M511. If I remember right, they called this the... Uh, the Rossi camp gun or camper gun, maybe. They, they, they made these back in the, I think the early to mid to late 80s, sometime in there. And this is actually when Rossi was still owned by Interarms. And this is actually a pretty early one. Look at that, 882 serial number. But um, these were made by Rossi back when they still shared an ownership with Smith & Wesson. And the rumor I always heard was that they shared some tooling. Uh, possibly some of the old Smith equipment went down to Brazil to, to help produce some of these these uh, firearms or something along the lines of that. But you know, I'll tell you what, I scored on this one. I think I paid, um, I think I got this at a pawn shop here in the Houston area for 250 bucks, if I remember right. And it was one of the best purchases, uh, purchases that I've made. Uh, just a little six shot, 22, 22 revolver, and it this is about the same size as a, um, it, it may be just a hair bigger than a J-frame as far as the frame size, you know, so it, it's a nice, compact, little easy, easy pointing, good shooting little revolver. So the one reason I like the revolver is you don't have to worry about um, what type of ammo is going to feed in it. Because in a truck gun, like a get-home gun type situation, uh, if I can find 22 ammo, I want to know my gun will shoot it. Now, I know there's a lot of reliable little semi-automatic 22s out there that obviously hold more capacity. Uh, probably most folks can shoot it better than these, and that might be a good choice for you as well. But I just wanted to show that portion of it. So let me show you the next choice that I have. All right, look at this unassuming gym bag. What could this possibly hold? Well, let's see if I can get in here with one hand and show y'all. Let 
What? It's a big sock. Well, you know, socks are something good to have in your truck. And this is how I make use of one of them. <clears throat> but inside of it, what? It's a rifle stock. Well, no, y'all know what this is. Uh, this is the Henry. I'm going to take it off camera here. Why? Open this thing up. <clears throat> this is one of the Henry AR-7 survival rifles. Yeah. Y'all know how this works. Basically, the receiver screws on here. You got your barrel in here that hooks up to it. I'm not going to go into all the trouble to put it together because there's a lot better videos out there. Now, if y'all want to see this, uh, a nice video of this, sure, let me know and I'll do it for you. But that's my second choice. And I actually have, this can carry three mags, two in here, one in here. I actually have a fourth mag that I keep like in the glove box or in the, one, of the, one of the packs in my truck or something. So that's my choice for that in. Now, one more thing I do want to mention. I have two 22s. Well, in this bag is where I keep this. This here is what I call a cleaning kit. In case I need it. And then I keep a lot of extra ammo in this bag as well. And again, the convenience is, is that you've got two truck guns that use the same ammo. And then, you know, I have an extra 250 rounds of ammo that I can carry. Now, one thing I would recommend with this, I have a lot of paracord stuff like that in my truck. So if I have to make shift some sort of shoulder strap for this, I can. But on your handgun, make sure you don't forget to put a holster in your truck something that you can strap to your belt so you have some way of carrying it, which I've got a generic Uncle Mike's, one of them little nylon holsters in my truck that this thing will fit in. All right, so y'all have seen what I carry, and I'm just curious, what do you carry? You know, um, if, if, you know if some of my fellow YouTubers out there want to do a video on this, I'd be very interested in, in that too, uh, just to see what you have in your truck. Now, again, uh, I'm using the word truck. By truck, I'm meaning whatever vehicle you drive. So my wife, you know, obviously she carries something in her in, in her van. So yeah, again, let me hear your thoughts on it. Uh, just something I think kind of fun to talk about. And I will have a video coming showing you guys what I do carry in my truck for other preparedness reasons. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Have a great day.